Hello everyone and welcome to episode 29 of Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Sorry the last one was so long, I really didn't want it to be, but it turned out to be like 45 minutes long. Sorry about that everybody. But, yeah, we finally left the second planet of the game and we got to the point where you get to choose what planet you went, you go to. You can go to Dantooine, or you can go to Tatooine, you can go to Manon, Korriban, or there's one other, and I'm blanking on its name. Dantuin, Manon, uh, Kashyyyk, the Wookiee homeworld. Obviously, that's not God. What? Not right. What do you mean? I don't have time to worry about this now. Okay, let's go find storage and check that out. I chose to go to Tatooine. There are two planets where you can pick up new members for your party, and they are Tatooine and Manon. Or not Manon, Kashyyyk, sorry. So you'll want to go to Manon and Tatooine first, and then you'll want to pick because you want to have those party members for as long as you possibly can right strangely the food seems to have been disturbed recently no one in the party would have done this so it must have been some other explanation examine the food supply more closely there's there are no half-eaten or torn packages to indicate that theft was from pester vermin it looks more like some unknown person has been con conducting clandestine raids on your stores whatever the thief is they have managed to avoid your detection by you or your companions so far maybe a thorough search of the ship will reveal a stowaway okay let's uh, search the ship yeah we're on We're on uh, Tatooine now, and there's one character that we can pick up for here, and it's a personal favorite of pretty much everybody that has ever played this game. If you know, if you played this game, then you know exactly who I'm referring to, and you're probably looking forward to me picking him up. You think you hear the soft patter of footsteps behind you? I, I shit, I didn't get a chance to read that. Yeah, if, if you have played this before, you know exactly, you probably know exactly who I'm talking about. And you're probably looking forward to my picking said, up, picking up said character. You think you hear the soft patter, patter of footsteps behind you? Again. How can I help? Yes, I did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission, and what lies ahead for us. It seems fate, or the Force, is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. Is it true that you killed Darth Revan? Oh great, I never get tired of hearing how you killed Darth Revan. It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. That's not what I heard, but killing Revan is what you're famous for. Who killed Revan, then? Our mission was to capture Revan, if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. So Malak did your job for you. What else did you expect from the Sith? It's 
but you would have killed Revan eventually, right? True, I suppose. And yet the outcome of that battle was unexpected to all of us. Revan's end was unforeseen. As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Remember that Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, we really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. Okay. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Okay, let's uh, continue our search for the... What the hell just happened? The camera just... flipped out. On me there. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before in the Grove. It was wrong of me. You thought the dark side had consumed you. It is nothing. Damn right, apologize. Next time you try something like that, I'll kill you. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes. And in my own. Don't worry, Juhani. I forgive you. I think it's going to take a lot for that to happen. Ha! Huh, unlikely. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me, even though I tried to take your life. I can only hope that, in our time journeying together, I will succeed. Let's continue exploring the ship, trying to find... Listen, they disappear. Nope, wrong way. Shit. Okay, now I need to go back to the cargo hold and I'm lost. Hey, what are you doing here? A little girl? Where did you come from? Get out of here, whoever you are, right now. I don't I don't understand what you're saying. Calm down, little girl. I won't hurt you. I still don't understand. Okay, her name is Sasha, and she has... Can you tell me your name? Put yourself. Sasha is your name. Your name is Sasha, right? How did you get on the ship? Does the name Lur Arca ring a bell? Many of the words you're speaking are Mandalorian. But are you a Mandalorian child then? So you're a human, you're... Learned the words from somewhere, though. I see you, or you see me. You, you're hiding. The thing, something around here. 
it means starship, doesn't it? You're heading in the starship. It's your home, I understand. You said that before. Something about me? Yes, but what? It's something you like? Yes. You like me. Abs is to hurt, not abs is to hurt, means not hurt. Part of the ship, a room? Yum, it's food? You're not speaking now. He just means now, no. You want some food, you're hungry. So Dave means tell me about There is someone here there who will take you home. Yes, you can go home. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do with Sha with Sasha. The Ebon Hawk is not your home, Sasha. Not your first home, anyway. There is someone there who will take... Dantuin, maybe someone on Dantuin remembers you? I think I know what we're supposed to do with her. Let's go back to Dantuin. Real quick, and I think the, uh... I think that Twi'lek is looking for her. Lies. Griff might be working as a miner on Tatooine, but the rest of her story is Bantha Poodoo. You can't trust someone like her. At least Griff's free of her clutches. I'd like to go speak to the Circa Corp rep on Tatooine if we have time. Maybe I can arrange to see my brother again. We'll find your brother, Mission. I just hope he's not in any kind of trouble when we do. Nope, not that way. It's. I think. Yeah. I think this is where we're supposed to. What we're supposed to do with her. I 
think so anyway. Oh, we're getting attacked again. That's not good. Could have to fight off more Sith fighters. Got one, okay. I think I just got another. I didn't see that one. Where'd you go? Die. Okay, keep keep concentrating on one at a time. I missed. Got another one. Is this the last one? Ah, he's flying too low for me to get him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him. Okay, now we can go back to Dan doing and I think this is the little girl that 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 that, that uh, Twilight at the Enclave was looking for, the one we met when we first arrived. I believe that's who this is. Warp speed. Hyperspace. Okay, let's uh, exit the ship. Thanks for the tips, Alvar. I appreciate it. There we go. Exit the Eggman Hawk. Uh... Doesn't really matter who we select. We're not staying here for very long. Okay, mission needs to gain a level, auto level up. Yes. You, this is the one I wanted to talk to. There's a stowaway on my ship name. Ship by the name of Sasha. Uh, 
You can come on board and see her if you like. Yes, I am. She only speaks a smattering of Mandalorian, but I was able to figure it out. This guy better not be looking to kidnap her. Oh, I thought it's it's loading the ship. Okay, I was all confused there for a second. I was like, why isn't it letting me control thing? It better not have crashed on me. That would be lame. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Takom juz tak miki grabal mogo. Kaji ita hodunga. Tong abuk shami no nok. Uh, whatever that says, Sasha. Tong ki ba non tontek. Selima wanga kun bikin. Tong haid wam jiji jung lumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. Yumalita kuto tun. Jilamulan ni dupobo. Wonga kumbis chang ba mulira. Okay, we got that done. Now let's go back to where we wanted to be in the first place. Tattooing. Yeah, what do you want? You want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted, eh? I knew you were the type. Your stagnant republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the Outer Rim in those years. <laughs> and you never will now. What do you mean? If a world isn't strong enough to defend itself, it's basically forfeit. But this story is about something a little different. We were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. The main belt in the Crispin system consists of mainly small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells, and the pirates were using them for cover. Ha! <laughs> I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. It blew out and shredded the three smugglers using it for cover. But that was a mistake. Why? What happened? Did it backfire? You Mandalorians never were too smart? The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most. Maybe a dozen meters on the side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other. Just a ball covered in frozen gas. Something must have been inside it. Something inactive in the cold. The heat of my blast might have triggered something or woken something up. After I'd hit it, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell, still covering it, evaporating the gases. What lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth. A deformed rock pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars. I think something even older might have been inside that. An asteroid? Maybe, but maybe not. It started rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After a second, it started spraying fire, thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax. We were caught completely by surprise. Before we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. A ship? We couldn't catch it, 
but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we abandoned our efforts. Anything that wants to commit suicide in that great void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. That's the only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Is there something else you want to know? Nothing for Your now. Choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Okay, let's go. Thanks, Albar. I wonder what it is, uh... Do you know anything about the planet we're on? I wanted the grenade. Okay. Let's continue on and go to the front of the ship. Star map. Tattooing. I'm going to go back this way. I had planned on actually stabbing foot on the surface of tattooing in this episode, but it's not looking like I'm going to be able to. Because I, as I was about to exit the ship, of course, I ran into Salbar, who told me about someone raiding the food supplies, and I had to deal with that, and I found Sasha. And I was like, oh, I know what to do with Sasha. Looks like we're going to get attacked again. Yep, we're going to get attacked again. You guys just love patrolling this route, don't you? Well, I got one of them doing that. Two. I think I got that third one. Man, that glare is bright. Oh, he went under the ship. There goes another one. I would recommend concentrating on one at a time and then not letting them out of your sight till they blow up when you have to do these scenes. Because if you try to, if you focus on one for just a little bit and don't get it, focus on another for just a little bit, you're probably just going to be going back and forth between a bunch of them all the time. And that'll probably won't get you far. You'll probably wind up either losing a battle or it'll be a very time consuming battle. Of course, you know what's going to happen if you lose the battle. I'm sure I don't need to tell you. You'll get a game over. Yeah, as soon as we land, I'm calling this episode. Sorry we didn't get much done, but hey, we, we finished off that quest for Dantooine, so that's, that's something. At least we got something done in this episode. We just didn't get set foot on Dantooine itself. Okay. Thank you everybody for watching this episode of Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. That would be greatly appreciated. We'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks everybody. Bye. <laughs>